Hey guys, and welcome back to week six of what sold on Amazon this week. My name is Rob, and this is Bluegrass Profits. So I actually sold eight total items, five different SKUs, all of which were purchased within the last three weeks, really. And except for one, that was actually bought back in March at a Target. And the customer refused delivery, so therefore Amazon finally checked it back into their warehouse and instantly sold right away. So pretty happy. Let's go see what I've made. So before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to all the recent subscribers to the channel. I showed you guys how to get ungated in Calvin Klein through Kohl's.com from this video here on this quick little short. It's 30 seconds if you guys haven't seen it. Check it out. But if you need any help getting ungated in just about anything, hit that subscribe button. You can see how I did it and how you can do it too. So out the gate, we have this Adidas red t-shirt. I actually had two in an extra large and one in a large. These were purchased on July 3rd during that Hibbit Sports Store's 50% off clearance event. So hopefully you guys took advantage of that. It was checked into Amazon on July 16th and they sold on July 15th. So it actually sold before it even got to Amazon and the other two sold on July 18th. I paid $9 to buy these items and I actually sold for a price of $38 which gave me a profit of $17.92 but since I th sold three of them it actually brings my total to $53.76. Uh, that's an ROI of 199%. Check out these cute little sandals. These dudes are a size 6. I actually ordered these online through Kohl's. Um, if you guys check out other YouTube videos you might have seen from We Flip It All, he had a video showing this brand of Oshkosh shoes, and I was like, man, I need to sell those. However, I couldn't sell those shoes, so what I ended up doing was I went to Kohl's and I got approved to sell them because I bought 10 items um, of the Oshkosh shoes. So from there, um, when I was looking on Amazon, I saw that they were out of stock completely in the size 6, and they were just about out in the size 8. So I took full advantage. I ended up buying 18, tried buying 20, but they canceled two on me. But I already sold two this week instantly. I uh, shipped those out FBM, and I made a decent amount of money there. So here, I actually bought these this week on July 9th, and they didn't check into Amazon because I sold them FBM. They actually sold on July 19th, and I paid $12.30 to buy um, these shoes each. I ended up using Kohl's Cash, so I was able to get the price a little bit reduced. Um, but I actually sold these guys for $36, um, and again, I sold two of them. Profits on these guys was going to be $14.52 each with the shipping cost. Put those two together, you got $29.04, which gives me an ROI of 114%. Alright, next up we have these Toxic Slime Lickers. You guys may have seen these on TikTok. Um, I have a buddy who works for a distribution center, and he was able to get me these. Um, he ordered five boxes for me, so my average cost for each was $1.33. And I sold a four-pack of just the blue ones. So they have several different variation listings, but these are very big, quick items in the grocery category. However, when I bought these approximately two, week -ish, two weeks ago, um, the prices were much more inflated, and ever since then, it just seems like they have continued to plummet. And at this point, I'm like, oh shoot, I need to just sell out to get my money back because my buddy said I can't return them. These guys, I purchased them on July 6th, um, so obviously FBM, so they didn't check into Amazon, but they sold on July 18th. Um, I didn't actually get these from him until like over the weekend, so like 7.14 or so. And then I didn't really mess around with listing them until later on. But my cost to buy these was going to be $6.67 since my average individual unit was $1.33. Four of those in a four pack uh, get you to $6.67. Sold price for these guys was going to be $18, which only gave me a profit of $2.37. After the shipping cost, which I think was like five eighty seven, they were going like Nevada or something, so pretty far away. As far as the ROI goes, I'm looking at thirty five percent, so not very good, but still made money on these. Now I just need to sell out of the other ones in order to get my money back and move on from this not so good buy. Here we have this pink Nike T-shirt. This was a long sleeve. I actually picked this up during that fifty percent off clearance run when I went to all those Hibbit stores. Uh, one of the stores wasn't actually open yet, so I stopped at Gabe's next nearby and picked that up. But date purchase for this guy was going to be on July 3rd. It checked into Amazon on July 16th. 
sold this guy on July 21st, so today. Uh, cost to buy this guy was going to be $8.47 because I used a couple coupons. Uh, my sold price for this t-shirt was $21.95, which gave me a profit of $6.45 which was an ROI of 76%. Here we have some Old Spice body wash. This was Fiji. Uh, the scent, I think it's kind of been discontinued, at least in the size 25 ounce. Um, but I actually bought this guy on March 27th. It checked into Amazon originally early on, but um, it most recently came back to Amazon because it was the delivery was refused. It finally checked in on July 15th and it actually sold on July 17th. Um, I ended up paying four dollars and 23 cents for these guys at Target. They were 3.99 on the shelf, and I ended up picking up like 10 of them that day, which was pretty great. I sold this for 16.99. The previous nine that I actually sold back in early April. Those all sold for $19.99, but since then there's been a few other sellers. Prices dropped a little bit, but I ended up still making $4.81, so pretty happy with that. And then the ROI on this guy was 112%. So a quick little recap. The profits for the week is going to be $96.43. However, these are not including the nine additional items that I sold as one of my replens. If you add those profits in total... I'm going to be looking at $116.41. Um, if I was to continue to make $116.41 throughout the course of a year, 52 weeks, you're looking at a grand total of $6,053.32 in additional side income. Um, since I'm still working my 9 to 5, I'm pretty happy making an extra six grand throughout the course of a year. As always, thanks for stopping by and watching what we sold on Amazon this week. Um, I have a pretty big shipment coming out the door this week and I also have another video that I'm going to link right here once it gets posted. It is about Kohl's. They were running 50% off and I've scored big items with big profits so pretty happy. Um, if you guys need any help getting ungated in the premium brands, check out this video here. I'll see you there at both of them.